Characteristics of an isoquant. The isoquant, when relating different production methods that allow obtaining the same quantity of products, reflects situations such as production method A that involves more capital and less work if we compare it with production method B. The slope at a point on the isoquant curve is defined as the marginal rate of technical substitution between capital and labor, that is to say, how many units of capital must be reduced to increase the labor factor by one unit to maintain the constant production. Since the levels of production that I can consider are infinite, infinite would be the isoquant that would represent them. If we take a certain level of capital K asterisk, we can see how as we move to the right of the plane, each isoquant would reflect a production method with the same amount of capital, but with more work. From there, we can deduce that on the infinitely dense map of isoquants, those furthest away isoquants from the origin will represent the highest level of production.